guys, it's Goku55 here, and uh, today I am going to be showing you guys how to uh, change uh, firmware for your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad that you downloaded in zip format, so that it is usable with iTunes. So this will change it to the .ipsw extension, uh, so that you can use it with iTunes. Now, for some reason, I don't know why, sometimes the firmware is downloaded like this, uh, and it gets really annoying after a while, so... Um, yeah, I'll be showing you guys how to change that. So this will work in any version of Windows. Uh, Mac is a bit different, but I think by default Macs show the extension name or the .zip after the file or whatever. Um, so I'm sure you guys can figure it out from there from this video. Uh, now the the instructions will be a bit different depending on your operating system uh, between Windows XP, Vista, and 7, but I'm sure that you guys can figure it out. It's pretty straightforward. Now, let's get started. So, I have my iPhone firmware here for my iPhone 3GS, which is downloaded in zip format. Well, actually, I didn't download it in zip format. I just changed it to zip format for you guys, but, um, so yeah, let's just pretend that I downloaded this and it was in zip format which it is right now because I changed it. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on Start, Control Panel, and then Appearance and Personalization. Now, depending on your version of Windows, it might say something a bit different here, but I'm sure you guys can figure it out. Um, and click on Folder Options. If you're having trouble finding folder options, uh, in Windows XP, there's this option too, along with Vista, except I think it's somewhere over here in XP. Um, you can change this to view, by, and then icons, and find folder options. So I'm going to go appearance and personalization, folder options, go to the view tab, and make sure that this box is unchecked, hide extension for known file types. So uncheck that, click apply, and OK. And you want to right click uh, your file, because now you should see that it says .zip after it. You want to right click it, click on rename, and change the .zip to .ipsw, hit enter, and this will come up just asking if you're sure you want to change it, click on yes. And now it is usable with iTunes, so to use it in iTunes, what you need to do, have your device plugged in, and open up iTunes. might take a second here okay and now I need to wait for my device to show up in the side there we go okay so click on your device in the side hold down shift on your keyboard and click on restore and now you can select the firmware. Now if you're on a Mac, that is Alt and Restore, I believe. Uh, but Windows, it's Shift and Restore. And you will see that uh, iTunes recognizes the firmware. I'm not going to open it because my iPhone is perfectly fine the way it is. So, um, yeah, I hope this video helped you guys. Uh, it was I wasn't sure how to do this at first either uh, when I downloaded my firmware is in zip format accidentally so hope this helped you guys and if you guys want um, a tutorial on anything you could leave a comment or personal message me and i will be out with another tutorial very soon